three more and I'm done because I'm tired of these fucking pictures. <laughs> so, Lego Star Wars Holiday Special from 2020. Basic from 2003. And Chris Rock Kill the Messenger from 2008. So, Lego Star Wars Holiday Special. These ads need to suck my dick and fuck off. <sighs> so, I finished the Star Wars Special. It was fun. This was back when I was slowly getting back into Star Wars again. Slowly, like... Uh, I'm puzzled by the minor dip in brightness quality during the lightsaber duel, but overall, really good shit. Yeah. And that dip in quality happened previously in um, Rebels, actually, with Ahsoka versus um, the Inquisitors. Nah, that was a pain in the ass. Holy shit. <clears throat> I don't know why the hell they had that. Like, why are you dipping in the brightness quality? That makes no sense. And people, oh, it doesn't matter. It's not that important. Like, it's a brightness quality, dumb fuck. <laughs> uh, and then Chris Rock killed the messenger. I finished it, and that was better. It was. I liked it. It was really good. Especially his bit on Isaiah Washington being fired from Grey's Anatomy. Because <laughs> he called somebody a faggot. I forget which co-star it was. Or he said a bunch of other slurs because of news. Like he said a homophobic slur. <laughs> like which one did he say? Say faggot? Did he say bundle of sticks? <laughs> which one? Ugh. And the shit is such a reflection of today's world too. Only difference is Trump and COVID nineteen. Nah. Because this is during 08. This is during Bush's presidency. It's just before. Um. Obama took office. This is uh, during the war on Iraq. All that shit. But yeah. And then basic. I love that. Oh my god. There are so many plot twists in that movie. And it's it surprised me. Because I forgot about all the plot twists to it. So. Yeah. And good cast too. Fucking John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson. Hell yeah. And that was early 2000s. That was back when I was into all the military and police corruption shit that was going on in films. I love that era. Holy fuck. Because <laughs> there were so many of them that were coming out left and right. You had fucking Rules of Engagement. That's on the channel. Uh, what else? Oh, Exit Wounds. Uh, I'm trying to think of the cop films I like. Bone Collector, I'm going to watch that review it eventually. Uh, just all oh, those are really good. General's Daughter, that's another good one I loved. Oh, that was so good. The book, I like more than the movie. But I like both equally. But the book is so funny. And it has so much more. <laughs> Your ass is grass and I'm the fucking Grim Reaper. God. I haven't listened to that in a long time. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. But between the three of these, Disney, stand-up, and military films, which is better? Honestly, I'm going to go with uh, Basic, because that was the plot twist really, really make that film stand out the best. And you have a stellar cast, too. I mean, Lego holidays, Lego Star Wars holiday special is cool and all, but I don't know. They're fun, but they don't do enough of them. They should stop. They need to focus more on the old Republic and some other shit, but they'll never do it. And I don't know why. So dumb. But it is what it is. And I like my stand-up because Chris Rock is a hell of a comedian. Now his popularity skyrocketed since Will Smith fucked his career over. <laughs> like, damn. Mm -mm -mm. Fucking Will Smith. Unbelievable. But if you don't like these, you won't have a good time. If you do, you will have an excellent time. Just saying. So... 
Like my filmography, well, my film catalog, I should say, ranges from kids movies to super dark to funny comedians to whatever inspires me. Fantasy, horror, police, military, documentaries, <laughs> shit. I even find obscure shit on YouTube that inspires me to do a review. Ain't that some shit? There's tons of gems on YouTube. If you really cruise the movie section, or if you just find somebody who uploaded shit that's not available anywhere else, it's worth watching. Like, damn. So, that's gonna do it for movies tonight. I'll be back with my workout from yesterday. Stay tuned.